Interstellar formaldehyde was first discovered in 1969 by L. Snyder A.L. Using the National Radio Astronomy Observatory, formaldehyde was detected by means of the 111 to 110 ground state rotational transition at 4830 MHz. On the 11th of August 2014, astronomers released studies using the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array for the first time that detailed the distribution of HCN, HNC, H2CO, and dust inside the coma of comets C, 2012 F6 and C, 2012 S1. Initial discovery Formaldehyde was first discovered in interstellar space in 1969 by L. Snyder A.L. Using the National Radio Astronomy Observatory, H2CO was detected by means of the 111 to 110 ground state rotational transition at 4830 MHz. Formaldehyde was the first polyatomic organic molecule detected in the interstellar medium and since its initial detection has been observed in many regions of the galaxy, the isotopic ratio of 12C, 13C, was determined to be about or less than 50% in the galactic disk. Formaldehyde has been used to map out kinematic features of dark clouds located near Gould's belt of local bright stars. In 2007, the first H2CO 6 cm maser flare was detected. It was a short-duration outburst in IRAS 18566 plus 0408 that produced a line profile consistent with the superposition of two Gaussian components, which leads to the belief that an event outside the maser gas triggered simultaneous flares at two different locations. Although this was the first maser flare detected, H2 masers have been observed since 1974 by Downs and Wilson in NGC 7538. Unlike O, H2O, and CH3OH, only five galactic star-forming regions have associated formaldehyde maser emission which has only been observed through the 110-111 transition. According to Araya Al, H2CO are different from other mazes in that they are weaker than most other mazes and have only been detected near very young massive stellar objects. Unlike O, H2O, and CH3OH, only five galactic star-forming regions have associated formaldehyde maser emission which has only been observed through the 110-111 transition. Because of the widespread interest in interstellar formaldehyde it has recently been extensively studied, yielding new extragalactic sources, including NGC 253, NGC 520, NGC 660, NGC 891, NGC 2903, NGC 3079, NGC 3628, NGC 6240, NGC 6946, IC 342, IC 860, ARP 55, ARP 220, M82, M83, IRA. 10173 plus 0828, Iris 15107 plus 0724, and Iris 17468 plus 1320. Interstellar reactions. The gas phase reaction that produces formaldehyde possesses modest barriers and is too inefficient to produce the abundance of formaldehyde that has been observed. One proposed mechanism for the formation is the hydrogenation of CO ice, shown below. H plus COH CO plus HH2CO This is the basic production mechanism leading to H2CO. There are several side reactions that take place with each step of the reaction that are based on the nature of the ice on the grain according to David Woon. The rate constant presented is for the hydrogenation of CO. The rate constant for the hydrogenation of HCO was not provided as it was much larger than that of the hydrogenation of CO, likely because HCO is a radical. Awad al. 
mention that this is a surface level reaction only and only the mono layer is considered in calculations this includes the surface within cracks in the ice formaldehyde is relatively inactive in gas phase chemistry in the interstellar medium its action is predominantly focused in grain surface chemistry on dust grains in interstellar clouds Reactions involving formaldehyde have been observed to produce molecules containing CH, CO, OH, and CN bonds. While these products are not necessarily well known, Shut et al. believe these to be typical products of formaldehyde reactions at higher temperatures. Polyoxymethylene, methanolamine, methanediol, and methoxyethanol for example. Formaldehyde is believed to be the primary precursor for most of the complex organic material in the interstellar medium, including amino acids. Formaldehyde most often reacts with NH3, H2O, CH3OH, CO, and itself, H2CO. The three dominating reactions are shown below. H2CO plus NH3 amine H2CO plus H2O dials H2CO plus H2CO, CH2O and there is no kinetic data available for these reactions as the entire reaction is not verified nor well understood. These reactions are believed to take place during warm-up of the ice on grains which releases the molecules to react. These reactions begin at temperatures as low as 40K 80K but may take place at even lower temperatures. Note that many other reactions are listed on the UMIST RATEO6 database. Importance of observation Formaldehyde appears to be a useful probe for astrochemists due to its low reactivity in the gas phase and to the fact that the 110 to 111 and 211, 212 K doublet transitions are rather clear. Formaldehyde has been used in many capacities and to investigate many systems including determination of the 12 C, 13 C ratio to be less than 50 in the galactic disk. Mapping of the kinematic features of dark clouds located near Gould's belt of local bright stars. The radial velocities determined for these clouds lead Sandkowist et al. to believe that the clouds participate in the expansion of the local system of H gas and bright stars. Determination of the temperature of molecular formation from the ratio of ortho para H2CO. H2CO is a good candidate for this process because of the near zero probability of nuclear spin conversion in gas phase protostar environments. Determination of the spatial density of H2 and dense gas mass in several galaxies with varying luminosity. The spatial densities calculated fell in the range of 104.7 to 105.7 cm minus 3 and dense gas masses calculated fell in the range of 0.6 x 108 to 0.77 x 109 solar masses. Manga Mayal. Notice that the galaxies with lower infrared luminosity had lower dense gas masses and that this seemed to be a real trend despite the small data. Set. Rotational spectrum. Above is the rotational spectrum at the ground state vibrational level of H2CO at 30K. This spectrum was simulated using P gopher and S reduction rotational constants from Muller et al. The observed transitions are the 6.2 cm 111 to 110 and 2.1 cm 212 to 211 K doublet transitions. At right is the rotational energy level diagram. The ortho para splitting is determined by the parity of car. Ortho if car is odd and para if car is even.